Okay, what's up, guys? Uh, how's everybody doing today? Hopefully, everybody's doing at least somewhat decently. Um, it's Tuesday, so that means it's Tuesday stream. I remember yesterday people were asking about trigonometry, so I figured I would just go ahead. I'm gonna take a picture of that. I figured I'd just go ahead and um, I don't know, like do some trigonometry to start up. What's up, guys? What's up, Vexano? What's up, Rusen Paul? Oh yeah, that's right. I'm doing a uh. SAT stream after this, that's right. Crusher, yeah. Skills, YT, Prominent, Teniola. Yeah, this is gonna be SHSAT. My SAT one is gonna be on the other channel. So yeah, just, we're gonna do SAT, SHSAT right now, and then later we'll do SAT. Um, if you guys wanna still hang for that. Yeah, so, okay. So I guess I just wanna start with um, just some kind of simple triangle concepts. Um, and then obviously, if you guys have questions about it or whatever, we can get into some more intense material. But just first off, here's a couple just warm up problems for you guys to look at triangle wise. Hopefully they're not too difficult. Let me zoom in on this. Enhance. You guys don't even get that meme. That's so old. Okay. What's up, Brandon? What's up, Leo? Okay, cool. So let's just start off with this first problem, right? Oh. Rusem Paul, you got a new uh, handle on it, or are you just like got some other sock puppet accounts or something? All good, man. <laughs> You're using your stocking account. That's funny. <laughs> okay, yeah. Well, just take both your accounts and leave likes on my channel. Um, that's what I do. I have another channel, so I always go and leave a like on my channel. So it looks like I have friends. Yeah, okay. Oh, is it really? Yeah, I haven't been to the Discord um, pretty much since it's been set up. Um, I just, I don't know. I'm I'm not really in charge of it, I guess. I just it just kind of was created. So yeah, let's just go into it and let's let's look at this problem. So really quick. What's the value of angle ABC? What's up, Zach? Yeah. So, yeah. So with this type of problem, just keep in mind that, okay, we got our first answer coming in here. Let me use green for this. It's confusing. Okay. Everybody's pretty much coming in with the same number. Daniela. Yeah. Okay. Crusher. Okay. Zach, everybody's in. Okay, great. So I don't really need to go over this, but just keep in mind that this is just a warm up, right? and they will give you unnecessary pieces of information all the time. But really what we're just dealing with is if this is 70 and this is 70, all three of these have to add up to 180. So we're left, exactly, yeah. So yeah, no sweat there. This is all just to throw you off. Um, one interesting thing though you may know is that since this height bisects the base perfectly, we know that we're dealing with a isosceles or equilateral triangle. Um, so we know for a fact that if the whole answer is 40, then this is 20, and this is 20 as well. So something to think to keep in mind. All right, next one. If AB is parallel to line XY, what is the length of AX? Yeah, exactly, Rusem. All right, I'll give you like a minute for this. What's up, Geo Supreme? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's right. It's like Leo and Geo. That makes sense.
Oh, good. I'm glad I got a problem that stumped you, homies. Okay. What's up, Jessica? Tammy. Jane's in the house. What's up, Jane? Okay. Looks like Tammy. Looks like Tammy might have used the Pythagorean theorem here. Ah, uh, <laughs> too late, Jane. What's up, Vic Sano? All right, let's go over this one. So, believe it or not, a oh, Raygun Monster also thinks it's ten. Okay. All right, chill. So, with this one. XC is five, yeah, you might be like, right, Rusem. Actually, you are right. So what we're dealing with this in this one is actually similar triangles. Like a lot of you guys are, are jumping right to the, um, excuse me a second. You guys are jumping right to the Pythagorean theorem and that's excellent, excellent. But let me show you how to do it with similar triangles and then we'll go over that kind of advanced way to do it with the Pythagorean theorem. So here are our two triangles, right? I like split them up. I always like doing this with similar shapes. And how do I know that they're similar? Well, since these two are parallel, then we know that this angle and this angle are the same. And we know that this angle and this angle are the same. So we could say that this is equal to this and this is equal to that, right? So since they both share point C as their tip, then we know that all of the angles of these triangles are the same and because of that then we know that they're similar shapes. So now I'm just gonna label the sides, three, four. This is nine on the bigger one. Don't get tempted and use that six. So we know that going from the smaller to the bigger one, that it's going to be times three. So then that means four to whatever this is, is 12, right? And so I guess you do need to use the Pythagorean theorem in this problem, which makes it a more difficult problem. For you guys who don't know the Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. That's for all right triangles, all right? So this is a common right triangle. I'm not sure if you guys know it, but it's a three, four, five triangle. And if this is five, then we know that this whole side is 15, right? And so what is this 15 minus this section right here? Well, that means that it's 10 left right over there. So yeah, you guys got, yep, you guys got a lot of that. Yeah, so the, the thing with this one, uh, Rusum, you're asking about doubling, is you use six as the side when really it's nine because the similar shapes, if you use six, would be like a triangle like that and then some weird three-sided shape, right? If we're just gonna use that six. So we have to make sure to use the whole triangle and then yeah, then it'll be a times three for sure. All right, cool. So let's go into another one. Uh, what would be hard for you guys? Let me see. Oh, since we're doing Pythagorean theorem, let's actually do a hard one. Since you guys all know the Pythagorean theorem, I'll write it down. Is a seven? I knew it was a seven. Trash. Hold on. All right, that's the Pythagorean theorem. And just as a refresher, just because some people it's new information, some people it's old information. A, B are my legs. C is my hypotenuse. Okay. So let me draw you guys a be beautiful artwork. Hold on. Okay, so then that would be, let me see. Yeah, okay, so this will be, and is this to scale? No, it's not, too bad. Okay, so that is a map of, that is a map of, <laughs> who is this? 
Brandon Vestiloff. <laughs> Um, so here's a map of a bird's eye view of some dude who's walking home. Okay. So you go two blocks, then you take a left and walk down 12 more blocks. Then you take a right and you walk down three blocks and, you know, just, just for convenience, just know that these are 90 degree angles. You know, I'm not trying to play you guys like that. Now, what I want to know, let me just draw a beautiful person here. Oh man. Uh, sure. And then this is his beautiful house. Okay. So my question is if, if Ro robbed can fly directly home. How many blocks? shorter would is commute be. All right, here's your question, bros. All right, <laughs> yes, this is extremely family friendly. Your, your family friendly neighborhood SHSAT tutor. Uh, so there's our homie robbed. He can't fly, so he's gotta walk, right? So he's gonna walk two blocks, then 12 blocks, then three blocks, and he's back at the crib. My question is, if Duke can fly straight there, and you know what I mean by straight there, he flies over the building, he don't give a, he don't care, he don't care, he goes straight there, or if he can walk through walls, however you want to think about it, how much shorter would his commute or his traveling be? That, you know, commute is another way for like a regular route that you have to travel. Like you're, you could technically say your commute to school, that's like a thing, and your commute home. I don't know why they don't just say, I guess, I, I don't know where the word commute comes from. Okay, Jane's straight off the rip already. And that's fast, Jane. You, did you have time to double check your work too? That's awesome. Rachel agrees. Raygun Monster, check your figures, bruh. Mm-hmm. Yep, that's what's up. Okay. So yeah, this seems to be kind of a difficult problem for you guys. Okay, so I'm gonna go over this one. If you're still working on it, like it's all good. It's all good, but I just want to go over this. So let me actually unenhance and zoom out on this and kind of show you how they kind of hide like in school, what they would do is give you a bunch of triangles and go, okay, do you know how to implement and do you remember the formula of the Pythagorean theorem? At the SHSAT, they assume that you already know it and they're gonna try to hide it from you. So yeah, you guys are right. This is the Pythagorean theorem problem, but a lot of guys get confused because they go, okay, so here's our route that we wanna go. I don't know out of 12 how big that is. Is that six, is that five, and is that seven? Or is it six and six? It's, it's super hard to, to make those two right triangles work for us. So instead of that, we're gonna change the problem to work for us. So we know we got do right here, whatever, you guys know what I'm saying. And he's gotta go to his home over here. Rather than going up and out and up, 
we know in total he's got to walk five blocks in this direction. And you guys do this too. If you know how you have to do this, then this. Sometimes you can do that and that. Sometimes you do that, right? And that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to go all the way this way first, and that's five blocks. And then we're going to turn our left and go home, and that's 12 blocks. And no, this is not the scale, of course. And then when we get our straight distance, now we have a really beautiful right triangle that we can play with. You know what I'm saying? So now we can just re-up on this, just like Ray Gun Monster put in the chat. We're going to get something like this. Um, and I just happen to know this because it's a common right triangle. But if we take the square root of both sides, we're going to get 13 equals C. So one thing that I really liked is that nobody came with this answer of 13 because you know this would be an answer choice. Like 100% they're going to have 13 because that's what we get for this distance home. But the question is asking, how much shorter is his commute? So if we know that we go 2, 14, and then 17 blocks, we have to do that 17 minus the 13, and that's where we get these the answer that Rachel and Jane came up with. Yeah, exactly, skills. That's That's exactly it. So yeah, I mean, that's how this problem works. Notice how they give it to you like this, but take ownership of the information. Bring it like this, right? It, it doesn't matter. We know that he's going to go five total blocks this way and 12 total blocks that way. So we just got to put the information into our terms, into something we know how to work with. That's, that's something to kind of think about. Okay. Uh, also, um, we can do more triangle stuff, and we definitely are. Um, but if, if anybody has anything that they want to work on or they have any questions about, uh, now would be a good time to kind of throw it into the chat. Uh, all right, how could I play with you guys now? How could I make it hard? <sighs> let me see. I got a bunch of problems that I have, like, kind of geared up. So let me, like, pull those up and, like, let me see what's good with those. Um, Okay. All right. Get the geometry again. Ooh. Pretty good one. All right, let's do that. Jeez. <laughs> okay. All right, guys, get to work. I'm going to give you guys like two minutes to uh, boss up on this. Um, get my program back up there. Oh, no. That's trash. Hold up. All right, there we go. Cool. Get to work. Yeah, and Tammy, to go over sine, cosine, and tangent, um, we can dip into it. Um, that's like barely on the SAT. Um, if it was on the SHSAT, I would, 
I would guess that it would be an experimental field question that wouldn't count just because that's almost kind of unfair. I mean, there's high schoolers that don't know sine, cosine, and tangent well. But yeah, we can definitely cover it. Or, or just stick around for the SAT stream after this. Damn. Jessica, you got like rocket fuel. You and Rachel are really on it today. Skills is there too. Nice. And Jane. Okay, man. All the regular characters. All right, I'll give you guys like 30 more seconds and then we'll go over it. Crusher too. Hmm. Great gun. Okay. Do I even need to go over this one? Guys, be honest. Or should I even go over this one? Bruce and Paul. Also, don't forget to leave a like if you haven't already. Super appreciate that. Sharing the video is huge. Thank you. Yeah, I don't really know if I need to go over this one. Yeah, I feel like a prominent wants a quick explanation. All right, I'll just give it to you real fast. So just know, this is half a circle. So what's our whole circle? 16. So this area is half of that. Eight. And then since we know that this is a midpoint and this is a midpoint, we could say that this, circ this second half of the circle is cut up into fourths, right? So this would be two, 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 and two to make another eight because the whole thing is 16 plus two from this, and that's going to equal our 10. Bang. Yeah, it's super, super, like, once you kind of get that, you know, the, what, what a midpoint is, because since Z is a midpoint, if I draw it straight down, that'll cut this in half. And since this is cut in half, just like two kind of sandwiches next to each other. Um, you know, when you cut a sandwich, you know, you got a diagonal, which is totally heathen. Um, up and everyone knows up and down is the best. So half, 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 half. All of these have to equal eight. So yeah, that's our answer. Chill, chill, chill. Okay, let me keep cruising. And if you guys do have any questions, like if I am moving too quick or like whatever the ish is, like, you could just send me an email. Like, um, I get back to emails like almost immediately. They like, they like notify on my phone, like text messages. Okay, cool. All right, so another triangle problem for you guys. Let me pull up my handy dandy list of problems that I keep for moments just like this. Mm, okay, that gets into that. Hmm. Okay. Um, okay, how about this? Okay, um, say that's, would that be a good number there? 70, that work? Uh, yep, so that would be, okay. And then that, like that. <laughs> okay, all right, this problem's getting kind of hard, hold on. Uh, uh, <laughs> um, okay, great. All right, what I want to know is what this angle is in here. What's X? And just to give you guys some some navigation here, we know that a E is parallel to BD. Okay, I think this is enough information. 
I just kind of whipped this problem up, so it may be kind of clunky, but all right, bros. Yeah, and to answer your question, Jane, they will give problems like the one we just did and the one before it, for sure. Those are 100% fair game. Not saying they're going to be. Oh, and obviously, A B or A C D F is a parallelogram. Dang. All right, Leo's already on it. Let's right, see what's going on here. Oh, what's up, a boss? Oh, Leo, dude, there was a, a dude in the chat named Geo. He was really cool. He was a um, super cool guy. Uh, he kind of left, and you kind of showed up, and I mean, I guess that's okay, but yeah, Geo was really awesome. Skills has got 20. Um, Quee's coming in. Rachel's coming in. I swear, Rachel and Jessica are like on a same wavelength or something. So I feel like all your answers are coming at the same time. Ah, uh, yeah, too late. You can't change your answer, bro. You gotta like, you get just like skateboarding, man. You gotta stick it when you land. Crusher. Okay. Dude, you guys are so good. This is like crazy. Rusam is there too. Okay. Yeah, man. Uh, let me just go over this one in case you guys are confused, but that was about a minute 30, which is really good because, I mean, you should be taking about a minute, minute and a half for each problem. So, okay. Mahia's in it too. Okay. Yeah, it feels like everybody kind of understands this one, so I'll go over it quickly. Parallelogram. We know this angle and this angle are equal, so straight off the rip, we know that that's 70, and we know that this is 40 right in here. Now, we're dealing with parallel lines, and so this line, since it's a parallelogra parallelogram, which is built with two pairs of parallel lines, we know that this is 70, and this is going to be 70. Now, we can't say that's 40. It's actually going to be 140, but that's not really important. Because if this line and this line are parallel and they're bisected, just like that, we know that this and this are going to be the same. So then this is going to be 72, this is going to be 70, and then we're going to add up this triangle to 180, and we're going to get with 40. Really nice work, guys. That was not hard enough at all. <laughs> Let me pull up some harder problems. You guys are absolutely crushing today, which is super sick to see. All right, hold up. Hmm. Mm. Okay. I'm not messing around anymore. These problems are going to be hard. Uh, yeah, dude, skills. That happened. I mean, we saw yesterday I made such a huge mistake. Oh, I think we've done this problem before. You have to tell me if we've done this one because I think it's so good. I think this is really good, actually. So let me let me figure out. To, I'm gonna get a ruler. Okay. So how would this even go? Be like that, and then. Problem's kind of crazy. Okay. All right, now we got some diagrams here that might throw you for a loop a little bit. Okay, and so let's just label them. Okay, and so let's say and then I want to know what the value of x is. Uh, no, these are not from the uh, student handbook. I wouldn't, I don't wanna give you guys that because I think you should save the student handbook questions for when it's like taking a full practice test. Like you don't wanna just pick apart a couple questions here and there because it's your only opportunity to take a full length practice test. So I, I don't really use those problems in our sessions just because I don't wanna ruin it for you guys. Um, yeah, let's do this. I'll give you guys about two minutes because I think this problem's hard.
Remember to have fun, guys. Dude, Jessica. I don't I don't even know if you're right, but wow. That's so fast. Oh, whoops. I'll give you guys like 30 more seconds if you're still working. <laughs> yeah, it's a bad habit. I got it though. Got it. Okay, that's it. So let's go over it. So again, ask, I mean, you guys all got this answer. Skills also got it. You guys all um, kind of are around it, but you know, just think to yourself, like even if you did get this answer and you're feeling confident, you know, ask yourself, why do they give you this piece of information? And if you, if you need to, you can always, let me uh, zoom out really quick. If you need to, you could always just break shapes apart and I, I do this just because visualizing it is so much easier. I know this is 120, and we know that these two lines are equivalent. So since those two lines are equivalent, the angles that produce those lines need to be equivalent too. And so 180 minus that 120 is gonna be that 60, and so that we know that right here is gonna be 30, and right here is gonna be 30, right? 30, 30. Okay, cool. So, What's the next step, I guess? Well, we have this big triangle here that we could use, one, two, three, and we have 30 and 30, and the whole thing needs to add up to 180. So we actually know this guy in here is 120, because 120 plus 30 plus 30 is 180, then this guy is 60. Absolutely demolished this problem. <laughs> oh my gosh. That is absolutely crazy how easily you guys crush this problem. I'm just like, I'm kind of amazed. Okay, so let me actually give you something I think is even harder. And it doesn't have to do with triangles, but it will stay in the realm of geometry, I promise. Oh, actually, we've done this problem together. We've done so many problems. Okay. Um, we've done that one. Done that one. Have we done this one? Let me see. Hmm. Gosh, I think we have, you have. These are so good. Okay, here we go. And this is actually very similar to the new style of SHSAT questions. Because you know I'm only giving you updated goods. None of that old trash. Dude, I, I was, I'm was i not going to say which book I was looking through, but I was looking through a uh, SHSAT book a couple days ago. And dude, it is so bad. I was like, I can't believe they released that. Um, like all the problems were like fine, but it's like, not really problems that would be in an SHSAT. It was just like random kind of math problems. And I was like, I was kind of shocked, man. It was like an expensive book too. I was like, oh, whatever, doesn't really matter. <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay, so give me the X, bros. Give it to me. Um, yeah, I'll give you guys like, let me zoom in. I'll give you guys like a minute, minute to do this one. I feel, figure you guys can pound it out. Yeah, what's up, Wise Matt? No, it's okay. Better late than never. Hmm. Yeah.
Is that Jessica and Rachel coming in at the same time again? That's hilarious. Are you guys like sitting next to each other? <laughs> no, skills, you can't change your answer, homie. Too late. Um, Rusem. Leo. Abbas, yeah. You guys are all getting in here. Wise Matt. Yeah, huh? Yeah, I don't know what to tell you, man. Skills, you're just, uh... <laughs> How are you guys getting all of these questions correct so quickly? I, or, I actually don't know if they're correct, so I, I shouldn't have said that, but it just seems like you guys are getting all these correct. So let's go over this. Mejia's got 100, Crusher's got 100, Raygun's got 100, Jane. Dude, you guys are too good. These are high school level questions. <laughs> I mean, the next step is college level questions, so okay. All right, maybe we'll do that. So we know that this is 80 because they're on a straight line, right? And so the whole thing has to be 180, right? So it's going to be, you know, half circle. So 80 plus 20 is 100. So we know that this is actually 82. Oh, wow, this is isosceles triangle. How tubular. Um, and then we know that this whole thing needs to add up to 180 as well. So X is going to be 100. Uh, sorry, skills. <laughs> uh, this is too easy for you guys. Okay, let me see here if I can make it more difficult for you. Can I make this more difficult for you? Um, okay, here we go. Yep. All right. All right, this is trash. Okay, okay. So, so I want to know, know true, true or false. Or false. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, two times two the quantity of 90 minus y, y equals, equals 2x. 2x. And, just and just ABC, ABC is, is a, a right, right triangle. triangle. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. yeah, the daily, daily static, static coming, coming into the streams. Stream. Sorry about that, Sorry guys. About that, guys. Fix those squares, put your bit rate up. Yeah, I'm, I mean, my bit rate is about as much as my computer can handle. Um, T, T, a lot of people coming in with T on this one. T, T. Dude, <laughs> this is like starting to get frustrating. Like I'm trying to give you guys problems that I think are difficult and you guys are crushing them so hard. Um, yeah, so one thing with this that you guys can be aware of, and if you're still working, do your thing. But what I want to talk about is that all three of these angles need to equal 180. So that means that 90 plus X plus Y need to equal this 180 number. So since 90 is already in the mix, then we can say that X plus Y needs to equal 90. That makes total sense. So whenever you have a right triangle, both angles need to add up to be 90. Teniola, I think you're, I think you're just slightly off with P, um, but you know, good try, good try. <laughs> All right, this is enough. I'm, I'm tired of you guys getting everything right. You're gonna have to chill for like two seconds. I'm gonna see if I can come up with like a super hard triangle problem. See if I can make it 
make it more difficult for you homies um mm. hmm that could be hard okay that could be hard Okay, and then I want that to be, let's say, would that even work out? Yeah, that would work out. Um, so that would be, pretty, um, 10. Let's see. All right, dudes. Point D, not shown, is the midpoint of BC. What is the angle measurement of angle BAD? Okay, skills is already coming in with an answer here. Okay, Crusher's got 110. Rachel's got 100. <laughs> Wise Matt's got 330, which uh, I'm not saying is wrong, but... <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a little big seeing that a full circle is 360 degrees but hey i'm not here to judge if you think it's 330 then more power to you boy <laughs> okay i'll give you guys like 30 more seconds jane's coming in with 80 Ooh, a lot of different answers on the spray on this one okay for St. Paul, it's got 140. Wow. A lot of different answers. Uh, Jessica. Laurel. Oh, what's up, Laurel? All right. I think. All right. Finally. <laughs> finally. Yes. Finally, I have a question. Because, I mean, I don't know what which one of these is the right answer, but I do know that you guys got all different answers. So... Uh, I'm I'm not totally worthless. I can give you guys something to uh that'll be difficult. Okay. So let's go into it, shall we? We know that point D is somewhere in the middle here. We don't know exactly where it is. Um, but we're gonna have to use some clues here. Now we know that what angle B A C is just because a triangle has to add up to 180, and that's 40 right here. So we know inside here is gonna be 140. So let me show you guys something that you may not be aware of, um, but that is kind of cool actually. So here's a right triangle, and this is 90 degrees, right? 
Um, well, actually, is this fair? Let's see. 45. Would that, would that, would that even be fair? Hold up. 45. Hmm. I actually don't know if this question is any good. Now that I'm thinking about it, this question might be total trash. Hmm. Interesting. So what I was thinking, though, is that since this is 140 up in here, and actually uh, I'm now thinking that this question is trash and I didn't think through it enough, um, but whatever. So we know that we need to get from here to here. How are we going to get that, right? Um, we know that this is the midpoint, so that doesn't really give us enough information, I don't think. So, I mean, it could be 70, it could be 80. I'll take any answer in between 140 and 70. So, uh, Rusam, I think you're a little off. I think you solved for the whole thing. I'll take 80. I'll take 70. I'll take, a hun I'll take 100. All of these three answers are right. Uh, 110, I'll take two. 330, a little, little too much. Uh, 140, a little, little too much as well. It's going to be some number in between 70 and 140. Um, I actually don't know. So as far as answer choices they'd give you, um, they'd do something like this. Um, they would say um, 60, 70, or they wouldn't even do that. They would do A, B, C, D. They would do um, something like uh, 90, 150, 200, and then 240, something like that. Um, and so what would be a potential anger me angle measurement of this? I think you guys, the majority of you would select A for this. Um, if you are a little confused, I think it's because this is a trash problem that I just try to put together on the fly. Um, you guys deserve better than that. <laughs> yeah, it's been a long day. I've had like two tutoring sessions already. Um, all right, so let's just do some more um, triangle problems now that I got you. And hopefully I won't give you one that is absolute trash like that one. Hold up. Hmm. Ooh, that's kind of a good one, actually. The potato has arrived. What's up, kid? Ooh. Ooh, that's kind of a good one. Mm, should I do that one? No, too easy. Mm -mm -mm. God, these are all so easy. Do you guys have anything that you want to work on um, specifically? I remember you guys said slope intercept last time. I'm trying to remember. What's up, Rachel? <laughs> All right, let's see if there's any extra triangle problems I can pull up real quick on you guys. Pull it up on y'all. Uh, to answer your question, Jane, not really. I mean, that is smart to start looking at problems to see how they go together, um, but we can't make any definitive decisions on it. Okay, yeah, I think I got a problem for you. I, got, I think I got a um, trick, 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 trick. All right, I think I got a problem for you, homies. And I will... Definitely double check to make sure it isn't trash before I give it to you. Although I make no promises. <laughs> I've only been doing math problems for my entire life. Um, okay. Okay. So this is S. And this is A. And this is B. And this. entire thing is on a coordinate plane. Duh. So if you guys don't know what a coordinate plane is, that'd be the time to ask. We have our X and Y coordinates. Let me zoom out for you. Um, so what I want to know is OK, 
okay. Hopefully this will throw you. What I want to know is what is the area of this triangle in terms of A, B, and S? Go for it. Uh, no, that's an S player. Like S as in so. Yeah, you got it. Stream is like, what is it, 10 seconds behind or something? Okay, we got our first answer, which is A times B times S over two. That's from Jane. Chill, chill. Keep working, guys, keep working. Remember to follow your dreams. Listen to your heart. One half A, B, S. I think that's the same thing as Jane's answer, so I'm just gonna throw you here, Ray Gun. A, B, line on top of, on top times S, S times AB over two, ABS divided by two. Okay, one half ABS. Yeah, a lot of you guys are coming in with the right, same answer in this one, but is it right? I don't know. Okay, Rachel's got one half ABS. I think that's what your ABS over two with Laurel. A lot of people are coming in with this, um, Rachel. Um, boss yeah okay so a okay so we're saying paul's got something a little bit different here we got a b times s over two a plus b times s over two um and that's rusem rusem uh crusher's got that same thing too okay all right so i'm gonna go over this because you guys all came in with answers pretty quickly here um, so yeah, we all know, well, I, I'm such a huge fan with geometry problems, especially when you're dealing with area to write down the equation, one half base times height for sure. Aha, uh -huh, Rusain Paul, you changed your answer and, uh, people should be looking at that. Um, I'm not going to change it here cause I only take the first answer. So we have to look at what we can fill in here. We know that the height is obviously S, but what is the base? What is the base? Like if this point is two and this point is six, how big is this base? Now I just picked those numbers randomly, right? But they could be, it could be one in 10, really doesn't matter. But if this is two and this is six, then the entirety of the base is four. If this is one and this is 20, then the entirety of the base is 19. How do we get to those numbers? Yep, skills is actually right on it. I don't know why it blocks that message. It's not spam or anything. Yep. So the length of the base is this B, whatever it is, minus this A number. B minus A. That's the length of our base, is whatever this B number is, minus whatever this A number is. Because we can't just say if B is 20, we can't just say that the length of the base is 20 because there's this little area over here. So we have to find the difference or the length between A and B, right? And so to do that, we'd use subtraction. So what I would take as a final answer to this. Is that. Yeah. So yeah, that, that's what I would... That's what I'd throw up there. Yeah, just keep in mind what subtraction does. Subtraction means the difference, right? So just keep that in mind. There's actually a problem in Geometry Swamp that goes over that. So I, I would check that out if you haven't already. Um, for all the people that said ABS, thinking that AB is a line, right? It's not necessarily a line if we're dealing with a coordinate plane because this is a number line, 
and this is a number line. So what we're dealing with isn't a label per se, but with the distance between whatever these two numbers happen to be on this number line. Yeah. Yep. Totally. Oh, yeah. I actually took an IQ test. I got a pretty decent score, guys. Um, yeah. So those are basically the uh, the triangle stuff. Yeah. I mean, it's a difficult problem, but you guys were so close with this. You guys were just missing that minus sign and some parentheses. That's really all you were missing. And then you guys would have been so good. Yes, the geometry swamp does end. I'm not going to tell you how long it is, but it definitely does end. I think it actually tells you when you die how long it is. Uh, but the deep mine, I will never say how deep it is. Um, and I, I actually have an, an add-on that I've already programmed, but I haven't put it into the game yet um, because I'm just kind of waiting for more kids to get to the bottom before I make it longer. So, yeah. Okay, so uh, I'm going to do something a little bit different today because I have to get ready for the SAT stream um, on my other channel. Um, no, this one is not... Oh, is this one in the handbook? It might be. There are questions like this in the handbook. This very well could be from last year's handbook. So it wouldn't be from this year. It'd be from last year's. Um, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to do something a little bit different. <laughs> Because uh, normally I just leave the chat. Uh, let's see here. Just give me a second, guys. Um, do, 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 do. Okay. Sure, I'm going to do it. Let's see. Browse. It's like this whole setup thing that's like so annoying. Hold up. Go. Okay, there it is. Dun, dun, dun. Um. Oh, it's really loud, it's okay, so if you guys are going to join up on my next channel, uh, I am going to do like a, um, a live stream. I told you guys I was going to do this and now it's happening. <laughs> Um, this is just, uh, from earlier, earlier. Okay. So questions in the chat. So with the SHSAT, uh, this is PUBG mobile. I, I just, um, I recently actually had to re download it. Um, but this was from right before that. Um, yeah. So yeah, definitely leave a like if you haven't already, um, into the, uh, into the thing there. Um, super appreciate that bros. But yeah, I'm gonna, <laughs> I gotta get ready for this uh, next stream that we're gonna do. Um, so yeah, um, for the, oh, just so you know, I'm gonna be releasing a video sometime this week on um, SHSAT, the new handbook and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I, I'll add you guys, I actually just got a new um, like tag for playing this game, so. Like, like I said, this is like, I don't know, I forget when this is from. Um, yeah. All right, chill. Yeah, I don't play Fortnite. I play the True Gentleman's game. Which is PUBG, obviously. As I tip my fedora. Definitely do not use aimbot. No way. I would never do that. This is all skill. No way. I do not hack anything. I do play on an iPad. I will say that. It's not straight my phone. It's an iPad. But that's like the only thing I use. <laughs> no way. Like hear him coming. 
dude. I'm not bad. Yeah, this is actually raw footage of me trying to get the new SHSAT ham student handbook. They like wouldn't give it to me, so I like suited up. just joined in has no idea what's going on just a little PUBG play this is like their arcade mode because it's just more action right now that's facts Oh yeah. Yeah, I don't know how to really handle burst fire. Like, I don't know how to keep the spread decent. Like, that's why I just use single. <laughs> I told you I would, dude. creeped up on. So whack. Yeah, dude, I know. Dude, last day of school tomorrow. That's so sick. Congrats, dude. You guys are gonna be in high school, man. That's awesome. I think high school is awesome. I think it's super fun. And these long shots, you have to like lead the dude so far. It's like so easy to miss.
Okay, that's it. That's right. That's right. Winner, winner. Obviously, MVP. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to switch over to my other channel. Um, if you guys want to follow me over there, we're just going to do some SAT problems. I, I think I can live stream. I haven't, and I haven't actually tried it. Uh, but we'll do like a problem or two just to see if there's any interest or anything like that. But yeah, dudes, I'm, I'm going to be out of here. So I'll, I'll see you guys on my other channel. Um, let me see this. Um...